So, my bodyguard, I'm claiming her as my bodyguard. Her name is Jules from London. Uh, she's not the one. Don't fuck with her. Don't look at her sideways. Don't, you know, offer to help her change a tire. She will beat you for no reason. I don't know why, but she just will. She's a tough chick. She could kick the shit out of 80 guys in a biker bar and still be like, what? I was just getting warmed up. What? I'm not the one. What do you mean? Do I have some change to spare for charity? I don't have any change to spare for charity. You know what I got to spare for charity? Five. Five right here, you fucking twat. <laughs> Anyway, she's a good friend of mine. She recommended this story, which I thought cannot be true. This story is too good for me to be true, but it's true. Michaela Spielberg, who is Steven Spielberg and Kate Capshaw's Steven Spielberg. If you don't know who he is, you've been apparently comatose for the past 30 years. Famous director, Jaws, uh, Schindler's List, uh, Jurassic Park. You know, he did all good movies up to 1993. Then he got all like, I have to be serious now. I have to be serious and make depressing Holocaust films and then piece of shit, you know, sci-fi films nobody wants to see anymore. What happened to him? He was so good. I mean, anything Steven Spielberg touched turned to fucking movie gold. It just, it turned to movie jizz. Like if Steven Spielberg touched a movie, it just went, oh, 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 I was a shitty script before, but now I'm just fucking coming. Oh, oh, Spielberg. He had the magic Midas touch right there. Now it's just like, what the fuck happened to him? Does he make movies anymore? I mean, <laughs> it's always some serious shit or he's made some three hour movie about people riding on horses back in 1800. Nobody cares, Spielberg. Do fucking weird shit like E.T. Do shit like you used to do back in the day. This is this shit, this depressing crap. Schindler's List, what a feel good movie that was. I want to slip my wrist on the end of it. Yes, I know the Holocaust happened. It was horrible. I don't want to sit through that fucking, Jesus Christ. Movies to kill yourself by. Fucking put that one on number one on the list. Schindler's List. <laughs> anyway. He's got a 22-year-old daughter with Kate Capshaw, who, you know, he stalked and eventually convinced, you know, with hypnosis or some kind of thing that she needs to marry him. Uh, she was the star of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, or the co-star, alongside Harrison Ford. Honey, what were you thinking? Okay, I know what she was thinking. She was thinking this way. She wasn't thinking, come on, let's be honest. Look, thinking that, look, I would fuck Harrison Ford over Steven Spielberg. Are you kidding me? Look at them. Look at that. I would fuck Harrison Ford now over Steven Spielberg. I would fuck Harrison Ford over Steven Spielberg when he was a strapping young 22 year old man there's no way what the fuck you know what she was thinking she's like oh he's going places i can fuck around on the side it'd be great so they adopted a daughter could she not have kids or something i'm just curious i mean i'm fucking adopted i mean you know my parents were cursed by satan you know having me but <laughs> like i'm just kind of curious i don't know does anybody know do they have like you know biological kids i'm just nosy fuck that so um they have a daughter and their daughter is 22 and she has decided that she is starting her porn career, um, her solo porn career. And Steven Spielberg, he supports her. He is not bashing his head into a wall right now. He's not. How fucking dare you? Kate Capshaw is not, you know, fucking tying a noose around her neck right now. Like, oh my God. Oh, Jesus. I thought her so slut. Oh, and before the people say, I'm slut shaming and all this, I'm not. I just think it's really funny and really odd that a girl who is 22 years old, Michaela Spielberg, who was born in the, into, not born into, but adopted into whatever, to one of the richest families, most successful families, most successful heads of households you could possibly have, decides she needs to flap her titties around and play with her vagina for, you know, for money. I, I, I don't understand how you make that leap. It's got to be the Hollywood thing where she's just too bored. I mean, they always want to rebel, but what can they rebel against out there? You know, you got Jaden Smith wearing a fucking dress and being annoying and all that shit. What can they rebel against? You're rich. You can't rebel against anything, really. You get everything you ever wanted. Like, man, fuck that. You know, like, my daddy didn't give me an Annex card until I was 16. That's bullshit. I have to go to rehab for that because I sniff glue and I just drink paint thinner now. I'm bored. I got to just hang around a bunch of other rich kids. But this chick goes, you know, it's all about, you know, she put out a nice little Instagram post saying that she's going to, you know, basically start, you know, flapping her beef curtains around a little bit and then, you know, maybe slapping a titty or two. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm guessing maybe, you know, um, doing really, really obscene things with balloon animals, um, syrup and weird orifices. I'm thinking maybe, you know, um, how many fingers can fit in so-and-so, you know, um, where does this ketchup bottle go? Just weird, fun stuff. You know what I mean? And um, she's like, you know, it's her body, her choice, which it is. And I support her a thousand percent. Unless I was a father, I would drown her. But <laughs> I would drown her as quick as they drowned an Asian girl in China. I'm telling you, <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm, no dad wants to see his daughter do that. Listen, it's sexist. It's wrong. I understand it. It's hypocritical. I know if we had sons, we'd all be like, hey, high five. Unless they were in gay porn, then you're ashamed of them. But 
<laughs> like, how fucking dare you fucking sully this family with your, your booty shaking and you're getting the pipe in your boom boom from Rodrigo over there. Can't you, you know, screw and humiliate regular women like a good man? At least, at least I can high five my friends at the fucking golf course and not, you know, hang my head in shame. But with daughters, you never, you're, you're never going to be like, hey, you know what my daughter did last night? Gang bang. Yeah. High five. Right, guys? Why are y'all walking away? No, I'm proud. I really am. She was dripping with semen. <laughs> you guys, she was like, her mascara was running and she was all like, it's consensual. I loved it. She wanted to be like, you know, she wanted a blow bang. What's wrong with you guys? Why are you acting that way? I guess uh, Michaela Spielberg is starting out just doing a solo career, which is going to blossom into her taking a penis. Come on. It just is. And then Steven Spielberg puts out this thing like he supports his daughter. He supports her so much. He supports his daughter. I support my African-American daughter or any daughter I have. How many... What is with these people adopting everybody under the rainbow? I don't understand it. It's always these white celebrities adopting, like, you know, somebody from Somalia or somebody like, don't, it does not seem weird to anybody else. I'm not saying they shouldn't. I'm just saying it's like they go out of their way to, so they can be like, oh, you know, I, I'm not racist because I have a black child. I'm not racist because I have an Asian child. It's just like, I don't know, except for Angelina Jolie. She does it for the goodness in her heart. And she's got some weird OCDs where she just likes to collect children. But <laughs> this video will get me all kinds of trouble. I don't give a fuck anymore. I give no fucks. But, She's like, I don't know. She's she's gonna be playing with herself and stuff. And you're and Steven Spielberg put out a thing that he supports her. You know Steven Spielberg. Here's Steven Spielberg getting the call from his daughter. Hello, how's it going, Michaela? Have you entered university yet? No. Oh, are you gonna make some pictures like your good old, good old dad? No. What are you gonna? Well, what's going on? Okay, just bear with me here. I'm gonna you know masturbate myself furiously on a webcam, but it's my body, my choice. And um, eventually I may move on to, you know, cock. Just, you know, I start hopping on one or two. No big deal. No big deal. Okay, hold on a second. Do we have, how many guns do we have in this house? What's the biggest, most quickest to blow my head off? Did that? It's fine. I support you. Love you, honey. Do we have any other kids who will be worth this shit someday? <laughs> Listen, I just find it hilarious. I mean, you know, I feel bad for Steven Spielberg. How bad is going to be for him? You know, people that, you know, they're all gonna smile on his face. They don't wanna piss him off. You know, they wanna make, hopefully, make a good movie again. I don't think you're all gonna be like, oh, Steven, how's it going? Yeah, we gotta catch a meeting, babe. Yeah, Sunset Drive, uh, Rodeo Drive, whatever fucking, you know, bougie place we do lunch at and pretend we're talking about real stuff when really we're peddling and smuggling children from some underground thing. Hollywood's evil. Hollywood's fucking completely evil. But seriously, you know, they're gonna be like, yeah, let's catch a movie, talk about that script. You heard about his daughter taking a deep? Did you hear that? <laughs> right? Did you see that shit? High five, right? What the fuck up? God, guess he doesn't have everything, does he? You know that's what he's in for. You know it. Girl, what girl? What are you thinking? Seriously, if you were going to do at least don't make an announcement. Listen, they would find out anyway, TMZ and all that. But she, is there nothing else she can do? Can she paint? Can she read? Can she volunteer for small children? Again, it's not like I'm, I don't want to slut shame this girl. If she really likes to do this, is really what she wants to do, and she's happy with it, God bless her. There just is a certain stigma that's going to follow her father around. There just is. I can't, I didn't make the rules up. I didn't make how people act up. They are. We can all act like we're happy for her and all that shit. But you know, behind his back, everybody's going to be like, you hear about his daughter? Yeah, she's spreading now. Yeah, for money. Fucking like she needs it. She's got, you know, fucking King Kong with his bajillion dollars over here. I'm telling you, check the nearest, like, I don't know, back alley for Kate Capshaw, who's, I think, just injecting, like, as many, as much heroin as she can now. So the other time, I thought it was going to be a boy. Ah! Can it go in my eye? I'll just... Oh, God. I love it. I do. Uh, thank you for the story. I, I, I'm going to watch the videos. You know, she's a little chunky monkey, but you know what? I can work with that. I love girls who've got a little meat on their bones once in a while. I love anything that's got meat on his bones. I will swing any which way but loose. Wasn't that movie? Didn't Steven Spielberg, Steven Spielberg direct that? Gotta make a good movie again. Fuck all this shit. Fuck it. Get off. You know, stop drinking yourself to death almost because she's going to be doing, your daughter's going to be doing porn. Make something like Jaws again. Jurassic Park. Something cool. Something fun. Something like popcorny and summerish. Stop making these fucking bizarre epics nobody cares about anymore. I don't want to sit through history class. All right? I already fucking slept through it back in the 90s. There. But yeah, his daughter's going to porn. God help him.